Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sitting down and sharing some of the things that Jake and I have kind of talked about, about missing the states. So if you're new around here, Jake and I, that's my husband, we just pcs overseas to Germany. So that's where we're living now. And I make all kinds of different military related slash lifestyle slash vlog slash all kinds of stuff, different videos. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below before we go ahead and get started. And today I wanted to specifically talk about a couple things that I have been missing about the States. Okay, so my camera died, but I'm back. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about all the things that I, okay, not all the things, but some of the things that I am missing about America. Don't take anything I'm saying about the states as if I don't like living in Germany, that's not true. There's just things that the US has that Germany doesn't and I do want to make a video eventually when we've lived here long enough about all the things that I don't miss about the states and that I love about Germany. So stay tuned for that. If you can hear the wind, you'll just know how crazy it is right now. Um, it is like literally flying the trees around everywhere. You might be able to see it back here if you look hard enough. But the first thing I want to talk about is Trader Joe's because I follow them on Instagram and they have come out with a bunch of different new things that I really want to try. Today I saw they came out with a shampoo bar, which I've never tried a shampoo bar, but I do want to one day. And whenever seasonal stuff comes out and makes me so excited. Trader Joe's is a huge seasonal store so like they have a lot of like during the summer they have dill pickle uh, popcorn which I die for and then they also have just a bunch of different types of food that I like to eat there <laughs> so whenever pumpkin stuff starts to come out which it has been lately so I've been really sad <laughs> to not be in the states because I don't know where to find all the seasonal stuff. And I know like at the commissary and stuff, they'll probably hopefully have some stuff, but I don't know how soon they do that in Germany and in the US, they definitely do it very early, especially this year because with everything going on, it's just nice to have something to look forward to. So pumpkin spice season is here and that makes me miss Trader Joe's so much. You have no idea, so much. So that is the first thing that I could think of when I was thinking of these things is stuff that I'm craving about the States. Other grocery stores I don't exactly miss because I mean we have plenty of grocery stores here so just Trader Joe's. Just specifically Trader Joe's and Costco. Costco, I miss Costco a lot because they have huge bulk items and here they don't have that really. So it's kind of sad for me because I liked getting like laundry detergent, toilet paper, paper towels, some like um, some bars like protein bars and stuff they had a lot of there. They just have like tons at Costco. I really miss Costco. I didn't think I would, but there have been times when I'm like, dang, like I really miss Costco. I don't know, it's just been random sometimes. So yeah, Costco and Trader Joe's, definitely miss those two. Now, speaking of food, for some reason I have been missing, okay, we can just get this one out of the way. I've been missing Mexican food like a lot because usually in Colorado we could make our own like fajitas and stuff and we also had chewies, so like that's a little different, but we could make our own Mexican food, but here I haven't, we haven't made it yet and also the beef here Every single like steak we've gotten, because we usually get like strip steak or skirt steak. I don't know which one it is, Jake does that. To make fajitas and it's just so freaking good. But every time we've bought like a steak here, it's just been like not the same. So I don't know what's really different about it, but it's definitely different. And we are trying to go to the commissary and like try out different cuts of meat that they have to like try and find the fajita meat that we like so that we can make fajitas and eat Mexican food. But yeah, that's something major that I miss a lot, but I missed it in Colorado too, so we're pretty used to not being around Mexican food, like really good Mexican food. But also, I have been missing pho, like Vietnamese pho. I don't know why, I just like have been craving it lately, and I don't think they have anything like that. Not that they don't have it like that here, I just haven't found it yet. Um, we do actually live in a pretty small area, so I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't think they have a pho place or a Vietnamese restaurant around here. Maybe they do, maybe I'll find it and it'll be a great day. But as of right now, I miss pho 
and Mexican food. Now, this is a big one for me. I don't know why, because I've never been, I wouldn't consider myself a Target girl. I don't know, like, it's not like I go to Target for every single thing I need and like I'm there every single day, but I love Target. It has like everything you need. It has clothes, it has swimsuits, it has shoes, it has guy stuff, like guy clothes that I could buy for Jake. It has electronics, it has food sometimes. For the most part, they have like snacks and stuff like that. Um, what else? They have freaking kitchen appliances. They have like anything you need, home decor, all that kind of stuff. So I really miss Target a lot and I feel like I'm gonna be ordering online for Target a lot. I do still have Amazon here. It just takes a lot longer than it would in the States. So it just takes about like 10 to some things took like over two weeks, some things take like less than two weeks. But so far I think the fastest I've got something is like nine days. So it's like normal shipping, but you don't pay for shipping. So I don't know, it's better than switching everything over to German Amazon and not being able to get stuff that regular Amazon has, which who knew that there's like different Amazons for like different countries. I don't know why, but I just like didn't think about that and I didn't know that. So I can shop on Amazon, which is good. Some things don't ship here. But for the most part, I haven't had any problems with that. It's just that shipping takes a little longer. But Target. I miss freaking Target. I miss the accessibility of Target. And I just miss like going in there and getting inspiration and like just walking around. <laughs> Jake and I used to go to Target like at least once a week just to like go and get anything we need or go and just walk around. So love that. Oh, also Target dollar spot. I don't, haven't heard of any like dollar stores or like cheap stores here so I'm not really sure if they have that or not but yeah I miss that too all right the biggest thing for me the biggest thing for me is coffee so from what I have seen and tried here in Germany and just like I guess Europe in general Starbucks is a little bit different not even gonna lie like it's different so coffee here <laughs> let me get to the point Coffee here is very different. Like whenever you ask for a latte, you have to ask for sweetener. So like you have to like ask for sugar or like, I don't even know. I don't even know if they do pumps and stuff like they do like syrups like they do in the States at Starbucks they do because like duh. But every coffee shop we've been to, we've gotten like really strong coffee and like it seems like they care more about the coffee beans and like the flavor of the coffee rather than like the sweeteners. Basically, I miss Dutch Bros because Dutch Bros is just so freaking good. If you have been following me since we lived in Colorado, you know how much I love Dutch Bros. Like, I can literally go there every single day of my life and not be mad about it. it just makes me so sad because the coffee game here is not what it is in the States. So I actually asked Jake a couple things that he missed, and I'll go through them quickly because I can't explain them. That's kind of like his deal but I did ask him just to like because I thought we were gonna do this video together but he's working his tail off so he's not here right now so I'll just share some of the things that he misses about the states so the first thing he said was auto shops which by that he means like um like discount tire uh auto zone and uh like places you can get your oil changed at like you can get your oil changed at a car wash in the states and here we're kind of like iffy about getting stuff done. There's not really like auto shops or like places you can get oil changes at, like Walmart, you can get oil change, like you can't do that here, I don't think. At least we don't know yet. Um, so he misses that, like the accessibility of an, an auto shop because he got his brand new car and, well brand new to us, and he's like obsessed with it and he wants to wash it and clean it and shine it and wax it and add things to it literally every day. So, I think he misses that, like being able to get it all checked out, make sure everything's good and taken care of and like things you can do to it easily. The next two things kind of go together. So I'm gonna save those two for after cause they kind of like are, I can explain better. But the fourth thing that he said, he only said four things is ground turkey because he loves ground turkey and we used to buy it all the time. In Colorado and in the States but here we cannot find ground turkey like anywhere apparently we asked around and like people just don't really eat turkey here so no biggie we'll do like ground chicken and stuff they do have chicken 
They do a lot of pork here. We don't really eat pork that much, so we're trying to slowly incorporate it into our diet a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of pork, but I mean, ground pork and ground turkey, I feel like you can't really taste the difference. I don't know, maybe you can. And then the last two, he said, were craft beer and microbreweries. Colorado is huge for their craft beer. I think it's like the craft beer state or something. So he loves craft beer. He loves trying small breweries beers. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I definitely want to make a things I don't miss about the states, like just specific things that are different about states versus here. Yeah, so again, don't take anything the wrong way. If you love Germany, so do we. There's just some things that we have been like craving about the states and just kind of like missing the ease of access of specific things, but we are loving it here so far. We're really excited to be here. So again, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more overseas military lifestyle type videos and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye